I thought we could have a quick overview of shapes and maybe show you one or two things that you haven't seen before and then also show you one of the major new features in 2009.1. Firstly I'm going to add a new layer and add a quick shape. So I just have uh, a circle. What I wanted to show you is that we now have slightly thicker lines and slightly larger hit points when we need to grab and manipulate our shapes which uh, makes things a lot easier in the higher resolutions. The second thing I want to show you is if you ever add a bezier shape and one of the points that you really need to change requires you to have the tangent handles available if you hold the Z key down on the keyboard it will allow you to drag the tangent handles out of that point without selecting the point and actually moving it. This is a, a handy little tip and might save you from having to redraw the shape that you've made before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete those two shapes from the panel by hitting delete and selecting the shape key and I'm going to add a new shape again and show you one of the new features in 2009.1. I'm going to add a little bit of outer softness and a little bit of inner softness on this shape and what I'm going to do then on the panel is I'm going to use the shift key and press the shape key and what you'll see is that the shape has changed we now have dotted lines connecting my shape connecting the points to each other and you'll notice that when I move my points I have a shape that looks very different to what we've had before. If I go and switch on the key you'll see what we've done. In 2009.1 we've added the ability to have variable softness in our shapes. This has been a much requested feature. It's very easy to add new points and drag those points around or to change the softness that we have. And this allows us to achieve results we wouldn't have been able to achieve previously. If I turn on the key again, you can see there what we've done with the shape. So I'm going to make sure that that shape is selected and show you the delete outer and delete inner keys. Delete outer and delete inner will retain the outline of the shape but will reset the variable softness parameters so we can go and change them again to the way that we want to. One thing to be aware of is if we're going to drag points across each other we might get unexpected results so that's just something to be uh, aware of while using variable shape softness. We can also turn that off and it will simply revert to the shape. Something else that we've added is the ability to using control and hitting the key is to actually change the color of the outlines so see we have red pink and black over here and this will actually help to make things a bit more visible on some shots if the colors that we've chosen isn't exactly to your liking you can go and change them you can go and change them using the color.prefs file which you will find in the 2009.1 root directory